Let us explore the relationship between mass, velocity, and momentum. Here we have an orange of mass 0.1 kilograms. At the moment, its velocity is 0 meters per second and its momentum 0 kilogram meter per second. But what will happen if I raise its velocity to 1 meter per second? Watch the reading for momentum while I do this. At 1 meter per second, the momentum is 0.1 kilogram meter per second for the 0.1 kilogram object. As I increase the velocity now to 2 meters per second, should the momentum be greater than just now or less? Watch the momentum reading as I do this. The momentum is 0.2 kilogram meter per second while the object is moving. If I increase the velocity now to 3 meters per second, how will that affect the momentum? 0.3 kilogram meter per second. So from this, what do you notice is the relationship between velocity and momentum. As velocity is increased, momentum increases for a constant mass. Velocity and momentum are directly proportional. What about the relationship between mass and momentum? Let us remind ourselves about the reading we saw earlier, let's say when the velocity of the orange was 2 meters per second, the momentum was 0.2 kilogram meters per second. And now let's repeat this with a heavier fruit. Instead of using an orange, let's have a watermelon. And let's say that this watermelon's mass is 0.15 kilograms, which is heavier than the orange. Let us give this fruit also a velocity of 2 meters per second. Remember that for the 0.1 kilogram orange, the momentum at this velocity was 0.2 kilogram meter per second. Do you think that for this heavier fruit, the momentum will be greater or less for the same velocity? 0.3 kilogram meter per second. What about an even heavier fruit? Well, apples aren't usually heavier than watermelons, but this one is. Its mass is 0.2 kilograms. Let us give it a velocity of 2 meters per second and see whether that causes the momentum to be higher or lower than the watermelons. 0.4 kilogram meter per second. What do you notice? What about an even heavier fruit? A tomato. This tomato has the highest mass of all the fruits that we've looked at, which is rather strange for a tomato, but anyway, its mass is one kilogram. If I make its velocity to be two meters per second, how will its momentum compare with the other fruits? Can you predict what the momentum will be? Two kilogram meter per second. I hope you've realized that momentum is equal to the product of mass and velocity. Let's get some practice with this. This tomato has a mass of 1 kilogram. If I were to give it a velocity of 5 meters per second, what would its momentum be? 5 kilogram meters per second. And let's return the apple. What will the momentum of the apple be when its velocity is 2 meters per second? Remember, momentum equals mass times velocity. 0.4 kilogram meters per second. One more question. What about if the velocity of the apple is 4 meters per second? 0.8 kilogram meter per second. Mass times velocity. And before we go, have you already liked? Have you subscribed? Have you left me a comment? And please go and visit my website. You'll find a lot of resources there. And they're categorized in a way that will make it very easy for you to find what you need. Until we meet again, learn science.